So, today, yeah, today I've come to the Stiper Stones over class of Shrewsbury, kind of middle of nowhere, um, bit of a mission to get to, even went through a place called Snail Beach. A place called Snail Beach, how cool is that? But we will have, hopefully, because the weather's looking shocking, look at this. The weather's not looking like it's gonna play ball, but we've got views, we've got stones, we've got a dog, and you got me. So, let's see if I can pull anything out of the bag with this one today. So we're gonna go up to these various stones, they've all got names, I will mark them up in a bit and we will uh, have a chat about them. Not that I know any history, or so history, it's a bloody rock, but I don't know anything about where it got its names. Maybe I'll try and find out. But for now, we're gonna to walk to the top, and we're going to see what sort of um, views we've got, if any, because the clouds look in dodge. But stick with me, because we're going. So I'm 10 minutes into my walk. I haven't gone that far, you can see. We started down there by the car park. I've just realised I forgot my bloody tripod. It's in the car. But I don't think it's going to take too long to get up here. So I'm going to suss it out. I've got a few hours. So going to suss it out and if there's something if the cloud starts to break I can go for some long exposure if not we're going handheld which ain't that bad it's bright enough to have a quick shutter so yeah bit of a bummer but anyway it's bloody beautiful look at these hills and they got this got this cloud Oh, just a big bit of poo, lovely. Got these clouds coming in, which I reckon will maybe even come over the top of us. So, uh, hey, that'd be pretty cool, being in the mist. Crap video, but it might be cool. So anyway, we'll plod on, plod on, plod on. Lola, to the top, let's go. No, no, not me, go, come on. Well, this is interesting. I've got to walk up that. <laughs> I'll be all right. Don't about the dog, though. We'll see. Hopefully she didn't break a leg climbing across this. We'll find out. Go on, bear. You can do it. Ooh. Well, I'm at the first rock. You've got that one there, and this one here. And I don't know if it's both of these, but Google Maps says that this one is cranberry rock. I guess like the fruit, but it's not a fruit. Um, composition wise, really tricky. I think the rock itself is quite nice. It'd be good to have some texture in the sky, but as you can see, there is no texture. But it is, I mean, we've got mist, we've got all, all kinds of stuff coming in here. View. It's wicked, it's gorgeous. Obviously I can get up there, I can probably go over the back. I know there's more rocks to discover. So I'm gonna snap a few shots around Cranberry Rock and then we'll go higher. And like I say, I'm not gonna bother about a tripod at the moment because to be honest, I don't really need it with this cloud. Um, I did have an idea for sort of a real nice composition with low exposure, but if the cloud's like this, no point. So that may come, that may not. I will keep you, I will keep you in tune, but well, lovely. Lovely up here without a doubt. Um, haven't seen a lone tree yet though. You know what I mean? Everyone loves a lone tree. There's no trees, <laughs> to be honest. It's just bushes and rocks. But I'm gonna see if I can get some sort of hearty, half decent snap of this. So, um, let's go. Let's roll some music. Put some photos on. Yes! is cranberry rock done we are now on our way over to god this is proper dodgy walking around here i was told it was a bit rough underfoot and they're not lying there's no such thing as a path but we're now on our way over to manstone rock i think it is pretty sure if it's wrong i'll put it on the screen um but yeah pretty sure it's manstone rock which is that one all the way over there looks like it's got a little trick point on the top so i don't know if that's the highest point i assume so um but yeah i know i know i go on i go on 
But hang on, which way do we want to go? Hang on, hold tight. There we go. Look at it. I'm literally just sitting in like a bubble of, it's fog all round, the same sort of height we're at, but yet there is blue sky or sun everywhere else except where I am. <laughs> Bloody typical. You know, and I'll tell you what, photographing rocks is no easy feat. Um, I'm trying to look for sort of compositions and leading lines and stuff like that, but it's quite tricky and I didn't bring a tripod, so wherever I get, I've got to get there all dodgy and try and do it. But you know, we're having a walk about. Dog's enjoying life, I'm enjoying life. And we're up a hill, what more do you want? Something about all these rocks remind me of that rock man out of uh, Never Ending Story. I mean, everyone must have seen Never Ending Story, yeah? Certainly everyone who watches this channel, because most of us are pretty old. But yeah, just, I'm just expecting, I hope you can hear me, I'm just expecting some bloody rock man to come out of these, uh, whoo, come out of these formations or something. It's a cracking place. But my God, the weather didn't play ball. I think I'd have been better off staying at home, but hey ho, like I say, vlog everything. So I have, hopefully you're enjoying it. Ooh. Right, I've stepped out the uh, out the wind for a minute because it's too windy to vlog up here, quite frankly. So it turns out that this over here is the long mind. Okay, I was up there. I don't know. By the time this goes out, probably a week ago, ten days ago, something like that. And we, me and a few friends, got a sunset. Again, I was going to vlog that one, but it was far too windy. And we went for sunset shots, which actually set at the moment behind these stiper stones. The sun comes down behind it and sets a bit further over that way. Um, I'll run a couple now that I put on from that night anyway, of kind of this direction, the hills and stiper stones. Um, but yeah, the valley, you know, or the valley, whatever it is, the hills are lighting up lovely with the sun, but it's just not coming to where I am. And there's a lot of low cloud coming in now. Uh, you can literally see it just blowing across here. I haven't got a tripod, like I say, so I can't do any time lapse or anything like that. And I'm actually, it's a lot bigger up here than I thought it would be. It is, it's massive. I've still got all that to, oh, sorry. Still got all that to go. But I'm not gonna have time today to do that half, which is good, because then I get to come back another day with a bit more time, a tripod, better conditions, and do it all again. So, I mean, there you go. Um, I'm actually sat in the devil's chair at the moment. This, this rock formation behind me is called the devil's chair. And then there's another one that direction. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna get over to that one. I've gotta walk back that way. And you can't even walk and enjoy the scenery because it is literally, hang on a minute, I've gotta swap my hands. You can't walk and enjoy the scenery because it's literally so dodgy walking along here. It really is. I've nearly rolled my ankle twice. So I'm gonna wake up feeling it tomorrow. But yeah, what a view. Um, I don't doubt the view would be. I'm just seeing where the Reekin was, but I think it's over that way. The view could be a lot nicer if we didn't have all this low cloud and grimness quite frankly, but I'm going to put a zoom lens on, I'm going to get shots of the fields and all the golden and all the nice colours. So stick around for a few more shots of some scenery. Uh, but other than that, that is me from the Stiper Stones round one, signing out. Thanks for watching. Peace out.